morning guys. It's currently 8 a.m. We had a massive sleep in. We do not usually sleep in this late. Tommy is an early riser. So he usually loves getting up about 6, between 6 and 7. Don't you? Do you like getting up early? Yeah. We currently are a big mess. So we're going to go get ready. And then once we're ready, we're going to get on with our day. So today we are talking about how I can manage to work four days a week, be a busy, 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 busy mum because all mums are busy and manage to actually YouTube and put up two videos a week. I can tell you it's not actually easy. It's very hard, but I do have a plan each day of how I'm going to get through everything. The time is actually 11 a.m. The last time that you would have heard me speak before this was 8 a.m. Now, three hours have passed and all I've managed to do is make breakfast, get the kids ready and get myself ready. And that's about it. Tom Tom's hungry, so he's gonna have some cereal with some apples mixed in and also just some probiotics. It's a really quick, easy little breakfast for Tom Tom. So since John's been at work, Andy likes to play on his laptop while John's working on his laptop. Wow. So Andy's been playing his game. I was feeding Tommy. Now it's time for me to cook them breakfast. So John's still working from home. So I'm going to cook him and myself an omelette. And I am going to cook Andy some toast. He said he wants an egg, but he doesn't usually like one. So I'm just going to put it on the side. I, like I don't think he'll eat. We'll see. So with my omelette, I've just chopped up pretty much everything that I had in the fridge. I have some carrot, onion, tomato, capsicum, and some kale and feta. And then I'm just going to mix it all up into this bowl of eggs and just fry it on the fry pan. show you my schedule very quickly of how I plan my days. You will notice that I probably allocated about an hour and a half to do that. It took double the time. Before I started with the schedule I'm about to show you, I was trying to schedule with time periods. So say between nine and 10 is breakfast, 10 and 11 is cleaning the bathroom. Honestly, it didn't really work. I feel like when you have kids, Allocating a certain time to do things is just kind of setting you up to fail. Um, I will say that when there are days that I have appointments that I need to meet or if I am going to work, I will try a bit more to do things based on time. But for the most part, this is how I do it on my days off when we don't have any appointments or anywhere to be at a certain time. All right, let me just quickly show you it. All right, so the first one I have here is just film the video. Now, I have scheduled that for an all day thing. So because this video is just showing you how I'm doing my daily schedule and how I can get things done throughout the day, I don't have a certain time limit on this. The next one is breakfast. So what we had for breakfast was just omelet and eggs and I've wrote down a quick note to use up all the produce in the fridge. So. I do plan on going to the shops at some time today and I just needed to get rid of all of the fresh produce that was in my fridge because we don't want it to go off and I do need to get some new ones today. Now I've allocated about an hour for breakfast. We took an hour and 20 minutes, so we did go a little bit over on that, but that's okay. The next one is I do have a little bit of a mistake in the video that I'm uploading this afternoon. So I have allocated that I will spend about 30 minutes on that today trying to fix that. 
I don't think it will actually take me 30 minutes, but I have allocated that time because that's something I do want to get done. And if anything um, comes up in that time period, like the kids or whatever, I do want to make sure I'm spending a lot of time on that. I have also wrote a quick note to make sure that that is done before 5 p.m. Because John is working from home, I can't use the internet to upload. So I need to make sure that I am uploading as soon as 5 p.m. hits so that it will be ready to go live tonight. And the next thing I have on the list is to tidy the playroom. I have allocated 10 minutes to that. It shouldn't take me too long to tidy the playroom. I'm not detail cleaning it. I'm not dusting or anything like that. I'm just making sure that all the toys get put away. With the washing, I have a lot of washing to do. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I feel like I am constantly washing. Every day off I have, I have like three loads of washing to do. And there's some days I get home from work and I do a whole load of washing because I need to make sure my uniforms are clean for the next day. So I don't understand how I'm washing so many clothes. If you have any tips and tricks on laundry, please comment below because I don't understand why am I washing so much. I have two tick boxes, one for our clothes, so that'll be my clothes and John's clothes, and then I have kids' clothes as well. And just across from that, I have dry. So we use our dryer quite a lot because I am trying to get so much washing done and in a short period of time, I do need to use the dryer. I can't rely on a washing line. Next thing on the list is bathroom. They'll take about 10 minutes. The ensuite, I've allocated 20 minutes for that. I'll explain to you why in a moment. The shops, I've allocated 30 minutes. That should be enough time to zip down the road, grab what I need. I don't really need too much today. The kitchen is an easy one today. I'm not doing anything too hard. Just making sure it's nice and clean, um, wiping down all of the benches and the cupboards. The lounge room, again, easy, 10 minutes. Um, not doing too much detail cleaning today because I do have a lot to do. Tommy's room. This is a big one for me. I need to sort out all his clothes. I haven't been paying too much attention to his room. Um, I have allocated down here. Shower, get ready 30 minutes. It took us quite a lot longer to do that. Um, Andy has been very hard today. I think he's just really sick of being at home, which I understand the poor little thing. Most of his life he's been going to his nan's house while I'm at work or going to school. And then the last thing I have is fold washing, which I hate. Please tell me you hate folding washing too because it makes me feel so terrible. I hate folding washing. I hate it. It's one of the worst things anyone can do. I mean, in my opinion, obviously, maybe you love folding washing. I don't know. Let me know. Comment below. Do you love it? And if you do, how do you make yourself love it? Because I hate it. <laughs> I hate it. I did allow 20 minutes for the ensuite. Now, you might be thinking that's quite a long time. Um, when I have quite a lot to do, I will write a separate to-do list for that one task that I've allocated time for. Um, I do break it up so that I know what it is that I want to do. Now I have to stress, I obviously am going to try and get through all of this, but as you have seen this morning, it took me three hours just to do breakfast, get myself ready and get the kids ready, three hours. So there are times when I may not get this whole list done. Honestly, I am trying to aim to do the best I can. If I don't write a schedule, I just don't seem to get things done. So this really helps me. Maybe if you're looking at trying a new way, you could try this as well uh, and just see how you go. Hi, Tom Tom. Hi. You got food all over your face. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> it's 3.30 and honestly, I haven't got much of my list done at all. See, this is why I write time frames of how long I want the task to take and not yeah. a, a schedule that goes yeah. by 1 p.m., 2 p.m., 3 p.m. Because honestly, I would not stick to it. I have just finished editing that last video. That will be going live tonight. I've managed to get a few things that were on the list, like the shopping. I have done one load of washing and I folded one load that was already done uh, and ready to go this morning. Just finished our clothes, so I will need to fold them now. And I have got the kids in the wash, but they'll be going to the dry in a moment. So I should get that done by tonight. I'm not sure if I'll end up folding the kids' clothes or not, but 
we'll see how I go. One thing I did want to mention, so I managed to fold the first lot of clothes in about 13 minutes. I had scheduled about 15. So one way that I like to stay really motivated is I try and set like personal bests with my times. So I allocated 15 minutes for each lot of folding. And I hate folding, I think I said that before. So I'll try and beat my times. It is hard to try and stay motivated, especially when the kids want you to play with them all day. Look, I don't mind if I don't get things done as long as the kids are happy, really. Hi. You're so beautiful. I'm gonna pull my hair, don't do it. Okay guys, sorry the lighting probably isn't the best in here and it's also probably echoing. Echo. Yep, cool. Um, I am in some very daggy clothes because they are gonna probably get bleached and a little bit dirty, that's okay. I have already put drain cleaner down the drains and I've moved everything that was on the bench to the side there. Um, just so I can clean the benches and get to the mirror properly. So I'm gonna give that a go now. All right, so I did the toilet, did the mirrors, the benches. The floors have all been done. I actually they like, got right down into the grout and like scrubbed the grout. That was not too fun. The windows are still a little bit murky, so I might get them a once over tomorrow afternoon again. And then just, yeah. Clear out all the bottles. All nice and clean. So it's currently six o'clock now. The bathroom took me quite a while. I usually would try and only do one task at a time but Andy wanted me to help him with a whole bunch of stuff that he was doing out in the lounge room. So I kept stopping and starting and I also have to quickly upload my video. So it's uploading now, it's not ready yet, um, but it should be soon. So yeah, it did take me quite a while to get this done, but it was because I was stopping and starting. Okay guys, so it's seven o'clock now and most of that list got done. Pretty much everything besides Tommy's room, which I kind of, when I wrote it, didn't think it was gonna get done, but I wanted to put it on there just in case. I will try and get that done on Friday if I can. I do also still have this load of clothes to fold and the kids clothes are in the dryer but that should get done tonight anyway before we go to bed so yay i'm exhausted i'm gonna end the video here because we'll probably just get the kids ready for bed very soon and we'll just chill out for the rest of the night i hope i have given you a little bit of inspiration on how to get things done if i can manage then trust me anyone can it is very hard when you are a working mom and well, just any mom really, to just keep things clean and keep on top of things. But you know, you've got to try. And I feel that the best way is to try and schedule, give yourself certain periods of time to get it done in and just go from there. And just remember, if you don't get things done, it's not the end of the world. Just try and move it to the next day and always try and prioritize as well. So if you have certain things on the list that need to get done that day, do them first and then move on to the things that you, know, you might be able to push off the next day if they don't get done. Anyway guys, that's enough from me. I hope you do have a good weekend and I'll see you next week.